Okay, you Nissan Skyline fans, so this is an old model here from uh, Aoshima as part of their Grachan Collection series. This is from Grachan Collection number 2, which I'm guessing is pretty old. Maybe at least 10 years ago? Maybe 15? I don't know because uh, the box that it came in has no date on it whatsoever, and I know from experience that cars have no date on the molds either. So, if you want, you know, if you can read Japanese, here's all the stuff. And it seems this uh, part two, they only have four different cars, but in three different colorways, so it ended up being 12. Later on, uh, they would have, I think, six different cars, but in two colorways to equal that same 12 uh, case. But anyways, um, yeah, you would think somewhere in this technical jargon, there would be a date of year this thing came out, but uh, I am not seeing it, right? Call me crazy. And then here's the bottom, same thing. No date, top no date so it's a mystery darn mystery if anyone uh, you know recalls buying one of these you know when did this come out because uh i find that aoshima might be the best brand that i've collected as far as paint quality goes not a hundred percent are perfect paint but considering how old these models are most of them have nice paint this is a brand new car it's never been taken out of the blister you can see here so well, let's find out and see if uh it's got some issues. I'm not actually gonna talk about the statistics of the, the Skyline because I've talked about it in all my other Skyline videos. So what we're just gonna do is uh, compare them to the other Aoshima Skylines of this, well, this type of Skyline. Aoshima makes a lot of different Skylines, but we're just keeping it to the four doors and the Ken Mary, uh, the second generation. So let's see here, I got unscrewed from the base. So it does say it's from 1972, and this is a body code GC110, four door of course, that's what we're talking about today. So let's see if uh, I'm totally wrong, and hopefully I'm right, and the paint is nice, but uh, so we got a silver metallic here, uh, starting from the side here, yeah, uh, you know, pretty decent panel gaps there. The paint is looking good to me. I'm going to look at it off camera here. You know, it still looks pretty good to the, my own eyes. I think this is a gas cap or something like that. Uh, we got two uh, tail lights here. Pretty deep uh, translucent plastic. And then they painted over it with some black. Painted on reflectors. The angled uh, license plate. Pretty thin uh, exhaust. And a wing, of course. So, Aoshima just has these plain black interiors. Just like Kyosho, so you can't really see much. All right, this side, I suppose, yeah. There's a contaminant there. Maybe there as well. But that seems to be it, right? Well, let's go to the front here. So you got these funky angled headlights and then a double grill here, which I guess is pretty much a stock grill when uh, we compare it to photos of a real car. And then we have some orange paint here for the uh, turn signals. I'm guessing those that's what they must be. Okay, the hood uh, I don't know yeah that could be bad as well maybe there as well so all right maybe I'm wrong but uh, no I would still say Hiroshima is probably still the best as far as uh, quality of their paint as far as the old models go and I'm not talking about brand new mini GTs or tarmac works or Anno 64s those those have a good paint quality as well but uh, I know a lot of my Kyoshos which I have maybe at least 150 of them uh, Man, if I could, if I had to guess, it'd be 30 to 50 percent have some indication of paint rash going on. This doesn't actually have indication of paint rash. It's just more like uh, contaminants, I guess. But anyways, so because I can't find much information on these Grachan series because it's all in Japanese, you know, the only ones you can really find info on are Series 11 and Series 12, and maybe the Best Collection One and Best Collection Two. But everything else is pretty much a hidden away in the internet so uh, every now and then I just go on eBay and look up what people are saying they belong to um, so this I believe well it, it obviously comes from collection 2 because it came out of that box and they had a number 2 on it so we're gonna put this on the tray of comparison and then you're gonna find that it actually is different from other Grachan collections I had a previous video of this one and I said it was from series 2, but I'm mistaken. This is from Grachan series 4 according to a listing on eBay. And you'll see it is different from this one in the front end. 
This one is from Garage Gen Series 11. I know this because I bought the whole case and pulled this out of that case. This one as well from Series 11. So we got two, four, 11, 11. Now let's uh, take a look at the differences here. So, hmm, I guess I'll angle it right there. All right, so obviously, you know, if you want to pause it, there's a lot of differences going on. This is the pretty much the closest to a stock vehicle, this one right here. But yeah, these are clearly modified quite a bit with the angled headlights. And then this is a stock grill, the double split grill, I think. And then this is clearly modified. And then what this thing is just going crazy. I mean, it's got this crazy overhang here on the front, you know, if you don't see it from before. They, they graft it on like a queer, like a, uh, I don't know, a, a ledge or it's like a just a weird weird pointed tip like a shark tip or something it's really strange but I, I like it and then this one has these crazy wide uh, fender flares so it's interesting okay so let's go to the back because uh, the hoods should probably be all the same right you can see they're, they're pretty much the same hoods and all the Ken Mary second generation Skyline seem to have that, but the back ends. Let's see what we can see as far as the difference goes. Okay, so now we're working this way. So these two are fairly similar, right? And their rear ends, although the height of this one is much higher than that one for some reason. Don't know why. This I assume is more stock again. I think the stock Skyline had four tail lights, and then this one is modded, but it's got like a double silver ring tail lights. So, and then you'll see the exhaust tips are in different locations as well. So for some reason or another, this stock one is super low to the ground, whereas these are a little higher and then this is super high. So they have different ride heights going on. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. Maybe if I space these out this way. Ah, oh boy, my camera's so close though. I'm gonna try to get you guys a side shot of these things, but it's gonna be at an angle move the camera back a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be able to focus on four cars. Okay, well, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. So, maybe you want to pause there, but primarily the side views should be similar. Only these little silver gas caps, these two are identical, and then these two are identical, but they're flat and they're different from those. Uh, obviously the this rear wing is totally crazy as well. It's different from the others, but these all seem to have like a similar wing I guess this one's actually kicked up higher though. These two seem to be identical So, okay, that's what's going on there um, Let me Let me angle back out so you can actually see a car a real car and uh, So it's this purple one from a uh, garage in 11 that has pretty much the same front end as this picture. You know, you got four headlamps and the split grill, and then the the turn signals are even the same. You got orange and silver in the in the blinkers. So, and then the other three are just totally modded out. So I think this is closest to stock, but it's totally slammed. It's the lowest of them all. So one downfall of these Aoshimas, though, the Grachan Aoshimas, at least, they all have these solid wheels. If you look at the wheels, right, it's a four spoke. There should be air between those spokes, but uh, Aoshima is lazy and they don't do that. This is kind of a complex wheel. I can kind of understand this one, but uh, this is also, this should have air going between the spokes. I know Kyosho would have done it. So that's the one downfall and I guess the black interiors, but I think these are cheap models when they're first out. If anyone knows how much these things retailed for, they, it's possible these are sold at like 7-Elevens or Circle K's or convenience stores, but I don't really know for sure because again, because these are Japanese models uh, and I don't think they were distributed outside of Japan, so it's just a nebulous uh, story as to where the history of these models. So if there are any uh, Japanese fans that happen to watch my channel and actually know English, you know, maybe you can chime in and help everyone else out. But anyways, so I know it's not the styling that a lot of people like, but uh, I really like these cars. They're just so wacky looking. I mean, they look like JDM drift cars. Like when I think about JDM cars, th this white Skyline is it.
right? It's it's lowered. It's got these small small wheels, and it just looks interesting. So, okay, guys, I'll leave it at that, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Bye.